Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the Green Bay Packers. We've been talking about their defense for a while now. Despite all the talent, former defensive coordinator Joe Barry just couldn't make it work consistently. So the Packers brought in Jeff Halley from Boston College. It's still early days, but I'm confident that the defense will finally be one of the best in the NFL. Training camp has officially started, and while today was a bit messy, the Packers thrive in that environment. We'll break down what's happening in training camp, especially focusing on the defense. I know it's just camp hype, but I believe in what I saw last year and who we have on the team. Welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and subscribe for daily NFL updates. As a diehard Packers fan, I post a lot of content about the team. We're covering training camp every single day, so let's aim for 250 likes on this video. I appreciate all the support, Packers fans. Now let's talk about some key players. Rashawn Gary is one of them. He's been phenomenal. There was a tweet from Matt Schneidman today saying Gary got two straight sacks, danced on the field, and then celebrated after an incompletion. That's three sacks in four plays. Jordan Love isn't at camp right now since he's about to get paid, and hopefully he'll be recognized as one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. I know I'm a biased Packers fan, but based on the second half of last season, I believe in his potential. For now, they're working with guys like Sean Clifford, Michael Pratt, and Jacob Eason, who they picked up recently. So Jordan Love isn't playing right now, but he's still at practice. It's understandable. He's not in the game right now. But honestly, I don't care if it's just training camp. If you're a defensive edge player and you get three sacks in four plays, that's impressive no matter the setting. It could be backyard football for all I care. Three sacks in four plays is a big deal. Last season, Rashawn Gary played every game for the Packers. He started 13 games and played in 17. He had two passes defended, two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, nine sacks, and 22 quarterback hits. The reason Gary doesn't get more recognition is partly because Joe Barry didn't maximize the talent on defense. But Gary, coming off an injury two years ago, looks like the player we drafted. Entering his sixth year, I believe this will finally be the season where Gary gets the national recognition he deserves as one of the top defensive players in the NFL. Today, the defensive line was relentless, applying pressure nonstop. Matt Schneidman tweeted that even when Rashawn Gary wasn't on the field, he was hyped up and giving the offensive line a hard time, especially Andre Dillard. Gary's energy is electric. I checked the Packers depth chart as usual. The defense looks great, though my only concern is Eric Stokes' health, which we'll keep an eye on. On a positive note, rookie Evan Williams from Oregon has been making headlines with his performance. This new secondary is young and versatile, with three new draft picks adding depth and flexibility. Speaking of camp, Sean Clifford had a rough day with a few interceptions. On the other hand, Evan Williams snagged one, showing that the new defensive back group is already making an impact. Today, Anthony Johnson Jr. also grabbed an interception. Shifting to the offense, there are a few injury updates. Marshawn Lloyd and Jaden Reed are dealing with some issues, and we'll talk about Tucker Craft's recovery in a moment. The Packers decided to bring back A.J. Dillon and let Aaron Jones go. They also brought in Josh Jacobs. I know it's just camp, but let's talk about Jacobs. His stats suffered last year due to injuries and a struggling Raiders team. The offensive line was weak, and the entire offense struggled, especially with Josh McDaniels as the head coach for the first part of the season. It was a rough year for Jacobs, but things should look better this season. A.J. Dillon, on the other hand, looks fantastic. Matt LaFleur says Dillon is performing better than ever. That's exciting news. Now about the injuries, Jair Alexander left practice yesterday, but it was just due to overheating on a hot day. No need to worry. Rookie Javon Bullard was asked how comfortable he is in the Packers' defense. He's starting with the first stringers and mentioned that he doesn't like to get too comfortable because it might cost him his job. 
I like that attitude. It shows he's eager and focused. These rookies are going to make an impact from the start. In terms of injuries, here's the latest update. Jaden Reed has a toe issue, likely from a recent incident with his son, and Marshawn Lloyd is dealing with a hip problem, but should return soon. Corey Ballantyne and Caleb Jones have hamstring issues, always concerning during camp. Donovan Jenkins has a knee issue, and Zach Thomas is coming off the physically unable to perform list and will start practicing. Tucker Craft's recovery from a torn pec will take a bit longer, and Jaden Reed started on the NFI list after tweaking something at his youth camp. Finally, there's been a lot of concern about the kicker position. Coach Matt LaFleur said that at least one of the three kickers will practice each day. Yesterday, it was rookie James Turner, and today it was Anders Carlson and Greg Joseph. I share your concerns about the kicker situation, as it's currently the biggest question mark for the Packers. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the update. We're putting out daily Packers videos, so hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know who you're watching during training camp. Peace.